Oh, once again, welcome to do, do, de. Excuse me, wait a minute, I gotta move this over there. <laughs> so you can see my ugly fucking face. Yes, I'm on uh, do, 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 de, whatever that is. D U. <clears throat> As in my dumb university. <laughs> ah, shit. I wanted to go over this picture here, as you can see over here. We'll look over here. Yeah, it's in the middle of the screen. Thanks. Now, the other day I mentioned about... I was in, uh... Uh-oh. Where the hell was I? I was in, uh... Spencer. Spencer, Massachusetts, mind me. Now, at the graveyard I had mentioned that I... Seen or had, uh... Beliefs that Indians dwelled through that whole area. I looked up in Wikipedia. Wikipedia had nothing of Indian dwellings. I finally, I found an article that was written back in the 1800s, I believe. And wouldn't you know, this had Indian living. And it wasn't said much about it. The only thing that it said is that the Indians had... Uh, sold their land now this is gonna be very very <laughs> disgraceful now I've mentioned in videos before about Indians selling their land for say so a pair of English boots say an English hat anything the English would give them anything in the type of English manner for say oh they walk three miles that way and they walk three miles back say so or three days out and three days back in that's their land and that's what literally if people don't know caused a lot of ruckus with the indians because when this person walked three days out and three days back oh geez i better wonder how much land that really is. Now I was looking up on Google Maps and it said to walk the Greenfield, Mass. I believe it would take yeah all friggin' day, at least one day. So just imagine of walking three days. How much time in uh, or how much land would be taken from that? And that's just. <clears throat> Ridiculous. Yes, I'm outside enjoying the night. Uh, I wish I had a light on this to shine, but the only thing I got is a porch light. I got goddamn mosquitoes flying on me. And this is the only quiet place I can do something right now. Fucking bug. Anyways, I wanted to get to this because, of course, finding this text from Spencer Mass. Very interesting. One example... Uh, second of the seventh. It says that Joseph Trask allies. I believe he's an allies in the uh the pa Pagastion Indian tribe and other Indians. It says as you can read clearly, real nice. I like how this goes down like this. This is what I need. <laughs> As you can see, lot 12 miles square for 23 pounds. So 12 miles, mind you, for 23 pounds. Now 23 pounds, yeah, could get you a lot of things. 23 pounds back then probably made you, I can't even say it made you a friggin' millionaire. But 23 pounds, yeah, that'd probably buy you a friggin' loaf of bread. Oh, build a little house and maybe pff, buy you a pair of shoes. I don't know. But that's not a lot of money to the Indians. And then you got 12 miles square of 23 pounds. That's what I'm talking about in these articles. It was confirm confirmed by them at a general court in condition that within seven years there then be 60 families settled, you know, through on in... Suffolk and lands reserved for the use of gospel ministry schools. The town to be called Rutland. Now this, I believe, 
Spencer is out in the Rutland area, Ware area. So I'm believing that uh, all of that, of course, was divided. Like Ayer, Shirley, Harvard, and Bolton used to be all Littleton, one area. And so all of this one area split up. So what else we got? And I got over here. Oh, God. What the hell? See. Indians. Now, these gentlemen, or part of them, purchased of the Indians in the same manner the town of Leicester, the following is a copy of the Indian deed. Known all by these present that we are the hearers, hearers of Arosca, the yeah, scheme of the place called Charles Statue and laying near the new town of England called Worcester. But then all other which may under them belong unto the same place. You know, after these hearings, and as you can clearly read, yeah, this was another part that they did all the same. What, probably, yeah, 20 pounds, 23 pounds for each friggin' land. And Worcester's a friggin' huge city now. And that, my friends, as they have signs up and down the Worcester River there, being nip Nipmuc tribes and stuff like that. But it was a dominant era of Nipmucks because they've ranged from Air Shirley all the way out to Worcester. I mean, they shared the land well, some of them, but a lot of them didn't get along. But as you can see, this has all got to do within the town of Spencer. And I just wanted, this is the only thing that it says of Indians, is these two paragraphs and what they did. So that being said, me being out in Spencer and saying that, never acknowledging any of that, I could just imagine what lies within that cemetery. Because the cemetery in Wilton, New Hampshire, was once an Indian living, dwelling of living. So, I'm about to wonder if that cemetery there, with the man there, the shadow or whatever, like I said there, that stares you down and watches your every move. That could be well, be well known as a Native American spirit. I'm putting money down on that. I'll put money down on that. Because of this, you know, all of this stuff that has been going on lately and what you see and hear of Indian tribes and what they've lost. So I'm about to put money down on that. And that too, that place, dude, that is not far from the Seven, seven Miles River, a, con a reservation land, a uh, state park. All in that lineup of the town of Spencer, and that's what Indians used to live in. Also, fields and meadows are strong in that area with farmland. So, for Wikipedia not knowing this, and I've thrown this up before, like Lemonster. Lemonster threw up a Wikipedia, Indians used to live here now. But before, three, four years ago when I started this up, or three years ago, Wikipedia for Lemons that had nothing, nothing said. And of course, three years ago, I didn't know how to screenshot nothing. And I didn't have this do video that I could have been doing a video and checking out the stuff I read. And I think I'm going to start doing that now. So I get my point across. When I read something, now this is very new to me. Now that if I get an article that's like, completely out of whack, out of difference, out of something, out of the unordinary. And then I get my haters out there, you don't know what you're talking about, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? Right here, I'm going to be like, well, look at this. Boom. You see it now? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You see this? And this is going to prove my theory that what I read, I'm not freaking crazy. I am not crazy. Wikipedia right now, if you look up on it, says nothing about Native Americans living in it. This, in 1686, they don't go far back. And a lot of these articles that I've been getting have been showing that 
proving this, and that's how I proved that Indians lived in Fitchburg through an Amherst College um, printout just like this. I have that saved, I can tell you that, and I think I'm going to go through that, do a video like this, so I can get my point across to people that when they sit there and say, you don't know what you're talking about. When I read something, though, this is a perfect example. You're going to read what I read now. You're going to see what I see. And then you don't have to sit here and blame me for, uh, yeah, giving you wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. You're giving out the wrong information. No. No, 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 no. No more will be this happening. It's pretty cool that I found this out. I have to thank someone very dearly. Which I'm not going to do right now. Because he's a little stubborn a-hole. But, <laughs> but uh, great thing to have. This is great. You can see here, like I say, Indians lived in da-da-da, sold their land, and so forth. That's another article. But read it and weep. Indians of Spencer, Mass. I mean, I should have took a screenshot of, uh, yeah, there it is. I don't have to because it says it right there. History of Spencer. So people going to call me wrong. You say, I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, this is what I do. If you can't find these texts, and if I find them and I put it out, I read what I, I say, what I read in my videos. You know, I'm not making this shit up. Some stuff I am. I will say it, though, that I am uh, making my own thoughts and theories. But when I say I've read something like this, and as you can see, History of Spencer Mass, clearly written, Indians dwelled. Go to Wikipedia right now. And I guarantee you, you will find nothing about history of Indians in Wikipedia. But who knows, when I did a video like this long ago, two years ago, like in Lemonster, I started talking about Indians in Wikipedia, picked up, oh, they got Indians, Sholin Farms, was Chief Sholin. And uh, some other stuff came up about friggin' Indians. It's like, what the? All right, you know, I'm glad I found this because now... I can prove my thoughts and theories on things and show them to you. That's right. And that's what I do. I'm not satisfied until I have found what I'm looking for. And that's why I like making my videos. These, this is why I make my videos. To prove a point. To bring back history. To, <clears throat> you know, make people believe. Know what to believe. What to see. What to read. That's right. That's right, and I found out right here. Read it once more. History of Spencer Mass and Indians. Down here. Number of Indian tribes. That was a small tribe, I believe, right there. Pagastio. Yeah, that was a freaking small tribe. You don't hear much of them. But uh, read it and weep right there. And when people say on my comments... Oh, what are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about. You got it all wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. No, I'm not wrong. I'm just saying what I read. And now I can do it like this. So, to the next video, be safe, take care, and always believe. I'm going to make you all believe it. I'm going to make you all know about history, too. My crash course, Collision History 101 class, has now just begun. Heh, <laughs> suckers. But until that next video, be safe. Take care. And I still gotta get used to this do. Do. I don't even know how to pronounce D U. Do. Like part dux. Dus. Du. Charlie Sheen. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm fucking losing it, man. I need some mental action. You know, I went and see my psychiatrist today, but I didn't get to tell him about my crazy ways yet. I'm going to get out of here, and I got to shut this down. How the fuck you do this? Someone please give me some answers on this. No. All right. This fucking thing's weird, though. You got to press this little tiny button over here to open up the screen to record, and you got to press this tiny little button to shut it off. Oops. Uh-oh. Hope that saves.
<laughs> still on. You fucking bastard. See, this thing's a fucking... <laughs> Oops. I got my freaking thing on. Ah, this is me and the wife. All right, gotta get out of here. Ha, ha, ha. Oh.